Zimbabwe visa requirements. Category A and B passport holders staying for short-term holiday purposes can enter Zimbabwe with a minimum of formalities. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, The Ultimate Survivor Africa. This is where we talk about things that happen in Africa. We talk about travel, we talk about tourism, current affairs of Africa, we talk about nature and conservation, we talk about everything that you can think that happens in Africa. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon so that you get a notification when we drop a new video. And please, share our videos with your friends and family and those who would love to learn things about Africa. And don't forget to give us the likes and thumbs up that will support our channel to grow. A visa to enter Zimbabwe is required by several nationalities. Please watch the full video to learn more. Visa Categories Zimbabwe has three visa categories, namely Category A, B and C. Category A Countries whose nationals do not require a visa. No action is required. You will be granted easy entry at any border post. Category B Countries whose nationals are granted a Zimbabwe visa at the port of entry on payment of a requisite visa fee. These visas are the easiest and obtained on your arrival at the airport or a border post or online using the Zimbabwe e-visa website. Payment is made online. If you get them done via an agency in your home country, they will often cost you quite a bit more and be a lot more hassle. If you are intending to visit Zambia as well, then the CASA or UNIVISA is your most economical choice. Make sure to watch our video about the CASA or UNIVISA. Category C Countries whose nationals are required to apply for and obtain a visa prior traveling to Zimbabwe. You can apply through a Zimbabwe High Commission in your home country or neighboring country, or an easier way is to apply online. Find out the category of your country in the information that follows. Passport requirements. All categories need a passport valid for at least six months from your date of entry, return ticket to your country, or enough money to buy one sufficient funds to cover your stay in Zimbabwe, enough blank pages in your passport to fit the required entry visa. Visa types. Single entry visa allows for entry into Zimbabwe one time. Once you exit Zimbabwe, the visa cannot be used again. Double entry visa allows you up to two entries into Zimbabwe, valid up to 90 days from the date of issue. Once you have used it for the two entries and two exits, the visa cannot be used again. Multiple entry visas cannot be obtained at the port of entry into Zimbabwe. You may enter Zimbabwe on a single entry visa and then obtain a multiple entry from the town office, but this may take up to seven working days to be issued, and in many cases it is declined. If you need to enter three or four times, rather buy a single entry and then a double entry visa or two doubles, which is perfectly accepted by the immigration. Children As of June 2012, Zimbabwe is now charging full visa fees for any individuals who is required to have a visa despite their age. This includes infants and children who were previously being exempted from this. This has been imposed with the immediate effect. Zimbabwe Visa Fees Visitors coming from Category B countries can pay for their visa when they arrive at the port of entry, whether it is at the land border or at the airport or through an online application via the e-visa website. We strongly advise visitors who wish to pay on arrival to have cash for their visas as credit card machines have become more and more unreliable when it comes to payments for visas. Category C nationals who applied for a visa online who pay for their visas during the online application. Here is the fee structure of the Zimbabwe visas. Single entry, 30 American dollars. Double entry, 45 American dollars. Multiple entry, 55 American dollars. Visa requirements. Please go to the description box and check if you need a visa to travel into Zimbabwe. If you're planning to travel into Zambia as well, please make sure to watch our video about the Zambia visa. 
Category B exceptions, British and Irish. The single entry is 55 American dollars and the double is 70 American dollars. Canada, the single entry is 75 American dollars. Category C, Zimbabwe visa fees. The single entry is 30 American dollars to 100 American dollars. Category C, single entry is 30 American dollars to 100 American dollars. Category C can apply for a single or a double entry Zimbabwe visa. British passport holders. You need a Zimbabwe visa to visit Zimbabwe. This can be obtained from the Zimbabwe Embassy in London, online through the e-visa website, or on arrival in Zimbabwe. To be honest, it is easier and in most cases cheaper just to get one online or at the port of entry. The current charge for a single entry Zimbabwe visa issued by the immigration is $55 American dollars and $70 for the double entry. The Casa visa is the best option when it is available. Credit cards, MasterCards and Visa are accepted but always have a cash reserve just in case the card machines are not working. Otherwise, the online application can bypass the possible hassle. Visitors are currently being given the entry permission for anything up to 90 days, but you are strongly advised to check that the number of days given at the port of entry covers your intended period of stay. SA Passport Holders You need a Zimbabwe visa to visit Zimbabwe. This can be obtained from the Zimbabwe Embassy in the United States, online via the e-visa website or on arrival in Zimbabwe. To be honest, it is easier and in most cases cheaper to just get one either online or at the port of entry. The current charge for a single entry Zimbabwe visa issued by the immigration is 30 American dollars and 45 American dollars for a double entry, although this could change at any stage. Please make sure to watch our video about the Casa visa as this might be the better option for you when it is available depending on your movements. Credit cards are accepted but always have cash reserve just in case the card machines are not working. Otherwise, the online application can bypass the possible hassle. I hope you found this video educational and more informative. Please, if you did, give us the thumbs up, the like, that will help our channel to grow. And please share this video with the ones that you think would love to visit Africa someday. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell icon so that when you drop a new video, you are the first one to get a notification. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the Ultimate Survivor Africa. I'm signing out.